This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Ford Edge. It is a 2012 Ford Edge, 3.5 liter V6, front wheel drive. It's a limited trim package. Has really low miles, 72,435 miles. Um, it was a performance Ford new car dealer trade-in in the Anaheim area. We purchased it, brought it to Tucson, uh, drove it. It needed a couple things and we didn't know what to do. And we decided that because it runs so good, uh, we're not gonna go there. Um, go there by meaning doing the repairs that are kind of fluffy. Anyway, um, what does that mean? So the blower motor was a little noisy. The AC blower motor, which was kind of annoying. And since we wanted to drive great, we fixed that. We sent it to Monsoon Automotive. You'll see that in the Carfax in a minute. The roof. The roof broke when I was operating it. One of the clips came off. I said, all right, well, I'll send it to the option, which does sunroofs and moonroofs. 1900. <laughs> like, now, it's Tucson. So if you were to bring it to a bigger city where there's other people who fix it besides one shop, it'd probably be half that. But still, even at eight or 900, it's ridiculous. So I said, disconnect the roof, lock it down so it doesn't leak water, and it's, and it's just, just close it permanently. If the next guy wants to fix it, they can fix it. It's, uh, when you Google it, it happens on every one of these things. <laughs> so I just said, it's a car. You know, just pretend like it's got a hard top roof. Anyway, um, then we sent it to detail. All right, uh, what else do we know about this truck, uh, this truck, this edge? Um, the remote unlocks, uh, unlocks the doors and works lift gate only. Backup camera. Backup cameras on edges also. They like to go to Ford to get reprogrammed on a regular basis. Um, so this one will work and then it'll give you a message saying go to the dealer and it's a check builder. We're not doing that either. We're trying to keep this, we're gonna to try to make this the lowest price, 72,000 mile, nice running car in the world, okay? And so that's what we're gonna do, all right? It's gonna be way below uh, uh, the Carfax retail value. Uh, I'll show you the Carfax in a minute. And uh, you know, if you're fine with the looks of it, you're fine with the, uh, with the uh, top and blah, 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 then you've got a nice little daily driver for about 60%, 70% of uh, what you'd pay for one with a roof that works and all the bells and whistles that, you know, whatever. Um, if you don't, if you do want a vehicle that does that stuff, then you gotta go pay probably this thing would, if it was perfect, you'd pay about 15 or 16 for it. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the uh, Kelly Fort real quick. I'm not the Kelly, the uh, Carfax Fort right now. Here's the Carfax. Basically, Kelly and Carfax get together and they mix the uh, Carfax and the uh, vehicle history and they come up with a value of this car is $14,090. You're not paying anywhere near that, but that's what they say, okay? Uh, there's your VIN, no accidents reported. No major title problems, okay? So it looked like it was born in uh, California. It was in Montebello, LA, Azusa, Covina. So it was serviced in Collie Ford, Collie Ford and Glendora. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bob Wendry's in Alhambra. So this car just kind of moved around this LA area. We bought it, 216.21, went to Monsoon for service that was a blower motor um and that's that all right uh my job in these videos isn't to tell you what you want to hear it's to make sure that whoever buys this vehicle all right uh let me close this um knows what's going on all right so there's no drama um it's actually a pretty nice looking car too it could probably use some front tires the rears look like they're brand new the fronts because it's front wheel drive are about 20 or 30 percent tread um my job in these videos, like I said, is not to tell you what you want to hear. Uh, I am not the bearer of the guy who says, oh, this car is the greatest car in the world, blah, 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 nothing's going on. If I know something's bad, you're going to know something's wrong, okay? Um, we have no upside in BSing people. The internet's huge and there's a plenty, plenty of people who will be fine with whatever's wrong as long as I let them know what's wrong before they buy it, <laughs> all right? so. 
turn that off turn that off clear all that stuff the door open and stuff all right so you got 72,480 miles let me go under the hood and this is an interesting they, somebody has some sort of a alarm on this thing um, but uh, it's not a it doesn't affect the unlocking or the starting of the vehicle so it's probably inactive I'm gonna leave it so it kind of looks like an expensive one you might find some value in it all right there's your hood sticker where it belongs all right so you know it's the original hood there's the VIN, so you know it's the original hood so obviously the hood's the first thing to hit something uh, and it hasn't been replaced so the vehicle's front end has not been affected by anything um, I encourage you to go over the photos the photo gallery if you're interested in paint condition or chips or any of that stuff but if I were you I would buy this just as a daily driver that would be an awesome kids first car you know um, they're not they they wouldn't be able to mess with the roof because it's disconnected and that way you don't get that call you know, it's raining and the roof won't close uh, I tell my kids all the time that we're not buying convertibles and we're not buying moon roofs because of that <laughs> that's exactly why and they all do it every single time and they usually do it in the rain um, USB here USB here you got some AV connections there's a sim card right here I believe that's probably for navigation if I took it out probably nav would probably not work. that's probably the nav card um, it does have sync obviously with the USBs and stuff there we are on Gardner Lane All right oh god did I freaking lock the doors and the windows yeah yep unlock All right, there you go. Terry, this car is pretty. Let's see, what do we have? A cup holder? Yep. There's a cup holder here in the middle, All right? Let's see, and then we got vents here. All right. Those are AC vents. That's not rear AC, by the way. I hate when people say my car has rear AC. They don't have rear AC when they have vents. They have rear AC when you have AC controls to control the temperature. Uh, I watch other companies' videos for vehicles. Here's rear AC. That is not rear AC, okay? Rear AC has its own separate AC for the rear. And you can adjust your temperature in the rear in the whole bit, okay? That's one of my pet peeves. I hate when they do that. Oh, my car's got rear AC, and people actually think they have rear AC. No, you don't. <laughs> All right, out, in, up, and down. It's got the lane departure thing on the uh, mirror, or the blind spot, I think is what that's called. Not lane departure, blind spot. Let's see, what else we got? Power door locks. Let's see. Rear hatch. Okay, I'm gonna hit it again. Yeah, it'll close. There it is closing. And then if you hit these buttons, I believe uh, these are oh these are the uh, memory seats for the seats. You know what I need to show you real quick. I'm gonna open this thing, and uh, it's kind of people always see these buttons back here and then ask me what they do. All right, boom. So if you've got your grocery cart and you need more space, you hit these buttons, you can keep shoving stuff in. That's why it's there, okay? Now manually, you have to put them up. That doesn't put them up for you. You have to go into the back doors and push them up, but that's what they do, okay? All right, the seat forward. Back. Up. Down seat back forward and back should have some tilt wheel there's tilt wheel right there okay let's see all right let me hop in this guy holy crap i gotta put the seat back all right seat belt on 
down here. I guess I better go to the gas station here pretty soon. All right, let's see. Source Entertainment. Turn it on. Let's see. Entertainment. Uh. <laughs> volume down. Here's the volume. Seek. So I'm changing the station. FM. Let's go to FM. Get a real station here. There we go. I haven't put any presets in here. Steering wheel controls. Seek. Up. And down. That's for my steering controls, right? Let's see what else we got here. We got Sirius. Howard Stern. Today's show radio. Yeah, subscription. USB. Obviously nothing's plugged in. Let's see. Down here. Bluetooth, which I Bluetoothed in this car the other day. It looks fine. SD card, AV, that's those yellow red setups. SD, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Let's go to climate. Go to here. It's on low and it's really cold, so I'm going to go up with this. And they're synced together. If you hit dual, you can do this side temperature up and this side temperature down. You can slip. If you take dual off, it'll sink to the driver's side. You have uh, heated seats, okay? I'm gonna keep mine heated because it's a little chilly. Turn this down, turn the temperature up a little bit. Actually, I want the dual off, so I'm gonna do it from the driver's side so both sides go up. That's about right. All right, let's see, fan up a little bit, fan down. AC's working great. Home page. Uh, entertainment. Let's take that off and go back to FM. And let's see. Go to 99.9. And .9. if I can tune it a little bit. Here we go. There you go. There you go. All right. So that's all working fine. Now, let me show you what happens when you put it in reverse. So you, you hear the uh, parking sensors? You get cameras on, uh, is unavailable, please contact your dealership. If you watch the other edges in our inventory right now, this is what happens on all of them. It's, <laughs> I'm not, I, to me, it's not, a, it's not broken. It's, they want to update your, software on the car and they want to charge you $190 to do it and I grew up knowing how to drive without a backup camera so I'm not going there um, if you want to you can um, but it's to me it's just it's, it's it's obnoxious is what it is I don't like that I don't like giving them money for that stupid stuff um, we tried to do it ourselves with our software and we couldn't do it so you know they've got it set up so that they, you have to come in there and you know let them plug it in for two seconds and oh look at your backup cameras on yay anyway uh ba -ba -ba -ba. good parts uh, very low miles very low miles uh 72 000 miles and uh it runs and drives great i've driven this car probably 50 miles around town to the option to monsoon around town and it's a great car um Anyway, uh, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7%. You'll pay a $250 dock fee. Uh, and uh, that's it. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive the wire, and by the way, the heated seat works, and it feels great. Um, uh, once we receive your wire for the uh, vehicle, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, we will scan it in your online file, and we will mail it to you. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail it in. You will have the Edge shipped to you. The title will be in your mailbox before the Edge shows up. Once the Edge shows up, you take the Edge and the title and go get plates, it's simple. If you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. I will be happy to help you. Um, I can do it for you. I can roll the price of the shipping into the vehicle. Um, uh, I can just give you phone numbers to do it yourself, or you're welcome to do it yourself. But 
Um, let me know early so you can, I can get your car early if you need me to do it, okay? Uh, deposit is 500 bucks. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it is for sale, so please make sure you get your deposit in. Uh, last part of every video, I say the same thing and I have forever. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have attendants serving scones and sandwiches and lattes and all the bull crap that they do at, uh, at the uh, auto mall, which is, by the way is a half mile directly on this road east of us, okay? Uh, they also know that if they sell you this vehicle and something breaks, you're gonna come in and say, I just paid $17,912 out the door for this car and the uh, XYZ doesn't work. The door locks don't work, the radio stopped working, blah, blah, blah. And they didn't tell you that it wasn't gonna work like we do, um, they just, you know, they just sell it to you and whatever. Well, they're smart. They don't want to pay for future repairs. So when they sell you the vehicle, part of that gigantic price sticker is about five to seven hundred dollars for future repairs. So when you come in, they say, "Sure, we'll fix your car because you already paid for the repairs." Well, what we do is the opposite. We are not fixing your car. We tell you everything we know about the vehicle, good and more importantly, bad. That way, you can make a good, informed decision on the vehicle and you could take the money you save not paying for salesman's commissions and location this is our location this costs us a dollar a year a uh, family member owns this property we rent it for a dollar a year and why a dollar because legally you can't we have to pay a dollar a year okay so we pay a dollar a year so you're saving money because we don't have their location issues we don't have their personnel issues we don't have their um, any of their issues so we can sell you vehicles a lot cheaper. And because we have the reach of getting to a, you know, this vehicle will be seen by 800 to 1,000 people a day, we don't have to BS you. We can tell you exactly what's going on. And we know that somebody out there who sees this vehicle 800 to 1,000 times a day will uh, be fine with whatever's wrong, whatever's right with the vehicle, and, uh, and they'll appreciate the truth. And, uh, you know, that's how we roll. So... Uh, we decided not to go there. We could have spent, uh, you know, two thousand dollars on the road. That uh, that number just blew me away. I know in the real world, outside of Tucson, it's a at the most a thousand dollar.